Hi, I'm Charlie and I'm a speech and language therapist at Treetop School. Today I'm going to quickly talk you through a game that you can play at home to help develop your child's language skills. It might be worth referring to the blank language level presentation that's on the speech and language webpage of the school website before playing this game to really make the most of it. So this game is called Dressing Up and all you need are different items of clothing. You can either play in a pair or in a small group. And to do this, you display your different items of clothing and then you ask your child to find an item based on the clue that you give them. Um, so the key thing to this game is that you can alter the difficulty of your clues by referring to blank language levels. So I'm now going to talk through some different clues that you can give um, that fall into the different blank language level categories. Just to note, I'm not going to provide an example for blank language level one because that primarily consists of labelling and identifying items, which does not match for this game. So an example of different clues you could give at blank language level two would be, find me something we wear on our feet or find a blue item or find something that we might wear to the beach. Examples at blank language level three would be, find an item that you wear on your head, but that you would not wear in the summer. Another example could be, find me something you wear on your feet, but that does not have laces. Make sure that you've got items that work for these clues. So for example, find me something that you wear on your feet that does not have laces, you need to make sure you've got a pair of shoes that do have laces and a pair of shoes that don't have laces in amongst all of the different items of clothing that you've got there. Another way that you could bring in blank language level three understanding into this game is to, at the end of the game, ask your child if they can summarise which items they put on in the order that they put them on. So to provide clues or questions at blank language level four, you would have to make sure that all of your items are not on display. So put the clothes away in the wardrobe or in the cupboards. And then you could ask questions such as, what items would you need to wear if it was a hot day? So you could tell them to find more than one item. Or what items would you need to wear to go walking on a cold, wet day. So this game is really good for developing the complexity of your child's descriptive skills, for your child to be able to focus on finer details. It's also good for your child to categorise different items. And lastly, it's really good to help develop your child's understanding of questioning and abstract language. If you need any help, for knowing what, how to differentiate this game according to your child's blank language level understanding, then please do get in contact with the speech and language department. Also, just a reminder that we are running our online clinic. So if you have any specific uh, concerns or queries about your child's speech and language needs, then please email the admin uh, email address for Treetop School they will forward that on to us and we will contact you directly to address these concerns. Hope you have fun playing. Thank you.